Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why you should git reset your last commit and not do a git revert on it. I've got this little repository, don't git revert your last commit, which I'm just going to clone over here in my local workspace. And I'm going to move into that and you can see that there's nothing in here other than a, a license. So, um, and if I take a look at my history, git ref log, well, you can see that basically I've got a nice pristine repository here. There, that's the very first commit and nothing bad has happened. So let's do something bad. So I'm going to create a new file called something bad, add it to the staging area. And now I'm going to do a commit. Okay, life looks good. Git ref log. And you can see here I've got the, the first commit, and then I've got another commit that's got something bad in it. Well, um, people might want to back out of that. And when you're backing out of that, what are you going to do? Well, some people think they should do a, a git revert. Um, and you can do a git revert. So git revert that last commit. So I'm going to do git revert 30 AD 503 does a, a brand new commit. And now if I do a git ref log, you can now see that I've got the original state of the repository, the bad commit, and now I've got my revert. And if I do an ls command to get a directory listing, you'll notice that that file that I had created before, that um, file named something bad, it's gone, but I've still got that something bad commit in my history. And if I actually do a, a git push, git push to origin, so send that back to GitHub. Push that back to GitHub, come over to my GitHub repository, take a look at the commits. You notice that I've got all three of those commits there. I've got the initial commit, I've got something bad, and then I've actually got the revert as well. So that thing that I wanted to revert, that I wanted to reverse out of, it's actually now stored there. So that's actually pushed up to the server. The other thing that's really bad is the fact that this state, initial commit, and this state are actually exactly the same thing, right? So all the files that are here are exactly the same as the files here, even though you know I've got two different commits and two different unique IDs in my history. So I don't like that. And if you're just trying to back out of the last thing you did, you don't want to do a git revert. You want to do a git reset. And here, let me add something that I, I like. So I'm going to do a, come over here, I'll do a git ref log. So I've got a git ref log. I'll do an ls. I've got nothing in there. I'm going to touch a file. Do a git add git commit and then push that to origin. Okay, now this just gets me back to a point where I've got a good commit up in my repository. And so that we've got the good commit here. That's going to get pushed up. Now if I come and take a look at my commit history, you can see now I've got a good commit. Okay, so that's good. So um, I want to keep that right there. So let's see what could happen now. So maybe I add a new file. So I create something else that's bad, add it to the staging area, git commit. And now I've got a new commit here, git ref log. Take a look. I've got there's the commit where something was good, 3BA, 6BD. And then I've got this here, something that's bad. Of course, I've not pushed to GitHub, so none of those are reflected over here on my GitHub server, so no one else can see what I'm doing until I've done a push. But let's say, hey, you know what? I actually don't like that thing that I did that was bad. And instead of doing a git revert, I'm going to do a git reset hard, and I'm going to git reset hard to the good commit. And so I'll push that back. 
I got 3BA, 6DBD. Head is now at that good commit, so I've got something good in there. Now let's say I create a new file, something else that's good. Git add, git commit dash m. Something else good. Maybe match the name there, so something else good. So now I've done a commit. You can actually see in my ref log, you can actually see the whole history here, but right now I've got um, something that's good. So I've got my good commit, 3B, then I did something bad, then I did a, a reset, which took me back to 3B. Notice that the state of these two environments are the same. And so now with the reset, I've got the same commit ID. I don't have two different commit IDs like I did with revert. And so that's a big benefit. And now I've got this EA commit here that I want to push to the server. Now remember, 4A8 is a bad commit. So watch this. I'm going to do a git push origin. And what do you think is going to go back to the server? Now I've done that push, it's gone back to the server. Looks like everything's gone well with a fast forward merge. And now I come back to the server and notice a good commit followed by something else good. Compare that to the git ref log. And of course your git ref log is just tracking your local commit history. So I've still got that bad commit, something else bad, 4A8, but because I reset over it, that commit, 4A, 8C, head to something else bad, there's no record of it in the central repository. So I've truly done a reset. I've gone back to the previous state. I've now essentially got rid of that bad commit in the collective history. It's still local to me, get still keeping track of the fact that that was done and I can still actually go back to it if I want. Um, but when I do the reset, it takes me back to the previous state and that commit for AC is nowhere to be found here. And so that is the difference between doing a git reset on your last commit with a reset and doing a git revert on your last commit with a revert. So the uh, difference between rolling things back with a reset and rolling things back with a revert. I, I would say most people that use the revert command don't understand it. They think that the revert command is the similar or the same to reset. It definitely is not. I've got a good tutorial over on the serverside.com that shows you exactly how the revert works. And it's really designed to, to pull out surgically specific changes that happened in a, a previous commit. But if you want to roll back your last commit, do it with a reset. Don't do it with a revert.